Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you or discuss with you Joplin, Joplin note taking app. But before we start, hurry up and check out our little software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here for us to start using Joplin is we first have to visit their website. So go ahead and open up any browser that you have on your PC. Go to joplinapp.org and from here just click on the option or button here that says download app and the app should be downloaded into your PC. Now once downloaded, click on the .exe file here and make sure to install Joplin into your PC. So the whole process is going to be really easy. Just follow the steps and you'll be able to install Joplin. But since I already have Joplin installed on my PC, let's go ahead and open it up. Now in this case, this is the main UI for Joplin. So if you're not aware or yet familiar with Joplin, Joplin is a great tool or is a open source or, uh, software that you could use to basically start taking notes. So immediately the, what we see here in our screen is uh, the different sections that we could use for Joplin. So at the left side here, this is where your notebook and tags. So notebooks is going to be a collection of notes that you have and tags is a great way for you to organize notes in case like you want to view a specific topic on that specific note. Now here in the right section or in kind of in the middle section here, you have the notes. So when this case, when you click on a specific notebook here, you'll be able to basically create your notes. Now in this case, you have two options here. We have new note and new to do list. Now here at the right side here, we have two sections. So left side here, it is where you write your notes and mark down. And also at the right side, you have the option to basically start viewing your notes in the completed format. Now in this case, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. So let's go ahead and start creating our notebook first. So here at the left side here, let's just click on the plus button here and we want to start creating a notebook. So in this case, I want to say this is going to be a sample notebook. And from here, let's just click on OK. Now also you have the option to select an emoji or a file that you want to associate for this specific notebook. Like for example, we want to select a notebook here, an emoji, I mean, from here we want to use this one. And from here, just click on the option OK and you'll be able to create your notebook. Now here, since we created our new notebook here, we want to start adding our note. So at the top here, just click on new note and from here, you'll be able to customize your note. Now here at the very top, you'll be able to add the title for your note. Like for example, I want to say this is going to be a test note. Now here at the bottom, you'll be able to start adding your notes in Markdown language. Now in this case, there's going to be a different formats or things that you could do here to start adding your notes. Like for example, if you add a pound sign here, you'll be able to start adding text in a heading format. Like for example, I want to say there's going to be a heading here. Just press on enter and as you can see, oops, you all have to add a uh, double hashtag here or double pound sign. As you can see, we were able to basically add that heading. Now, same thing, as you can see, depending on what type of pound sign or the amount of pound sign that you add here, you'll be able to use different type of formats of heading. Like for example, we have a single one here. So if you want to add another one, we have a different format as well as the third uh, type of heading here, which is the, a lot smaller one. So you can go ahead and just choose whatever you want to use here. Now, for example, we want to add this one, add some simple text here. For example, I'm adding this text here. You could go ahead and do that as well. Now from here, once you end, press on enter, you could also do other things. Like for example, if you want to add a text in bold format, what you could do is just press on the asterisk key here and here just add your text text. And from here, just add another one. And as you can see, as you can see, we when we add this to a double asterisk, uh, we have our bold, but when we add just one asterisk here, we'll be able to basically make it in it italic. Now, in this case, if you don't want to remember all of the formats that we have here, well, you could utilize the sec top section here. So in this case, let's just press on enter here. So if you, for example, you want to add a bold text, go ahead and click on bold and those uh, key formattings will be added in here. 
Now, same thing, like for example, if you want to add a link on a specific text here, like for example, you want to add a link here, just click on hyperlink here and you'll be able to add your link. Like for example, we want to say this for google.com, click on OK. As you can see, the right section here now, going it's going to show google.com. Now, in this case, if you want to go ahead and edit it, you can go ahead and just press on it and change the link for it. And as you can see, now, if you want to link different notes together, what you need to do is you need to create a new note here. For example, I want to create a new note here. I want to say it is just going to be test. Now here, when you right click on it, you'll be able to basically copy the markdown link for it. So let's just click on it. Go back to test note here and from here we want to en enter our a link here. So let's go ahead and highlight that, add a link, click on the link icon here, paste your link from here and just click on OK. And you'll be able to link that specific text into another note in your uh, notebook here. Now, if you want to add a to-do note, just click on new to-do here. And as you can see, it is a new to-do note. So you could go ahead and just describe anything. And once it's finished, you can go ahead and click on the checkbox next to it to mark it as completed. Now, also, you can change a few things on your your settings. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to you need to go to the tool section here. From here, click on options. Now, from here, there's a few things you can change. Like, for example, the appearance itself, if you want to change the team. Like, for example, we have dark here if you want to change to that. And we also have the option here for plugins. Now, for plugins, this one is kind of advanced. Like, for example, you want to add additional functionalities into Joplin, you can go ahead and just add plugins. But for now, let's just click on apply to apply your changes. And from here, let's just go back. Now, in here, if you want to synchronize your notes to different applications or to different devices that you have, well, what you need to do here is just click on synchronize at the bottom left. And from here, you have a three options. So you have the Joplin Cloud, Dropbox, and OneDrive. So basically you will be able to sync your notes across different sections or in different platforms so maybe you may be using this on your pc and you, when you go out and you have a laptop well you could access this via this methods here but in this case let's just click on notes now from here if you want to import or export a specific note here like for example you want to export this specific note here what you need to do is just right click on it and from here you have the export option so you have the following formats which is Joplin export file, Joplin export uh, directory, markdown, HTML file, and as well, we have the PDF file here. Now, also, if you click on file at the top left, you have the import as well as the export all option. But yeah, so using Joplin is a very, very easy uh, thing. You just need to familiarize yourself with markdown language and a few of their uh, tools and capabilities. But yeah, so those are the basics for Joplin and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.